Hello, my name is Angela, and today I'm prepping a couple of meals. Um, I am six weeks post-op duodenal switch, modified duodenal switch. So these would work for gastric bypass, the RNY, or um, the sleeve, um, or just low carb, low fat, low cal um, diets. So I'm making a turkey, no bean chili. Um, I'm going to add some veggie rice um, just to bulk it up um, because I, I, I'm i not supposed to eat really soupy soups, but we're having a soup day at work, so I'm going to try to participate the best I can. So this is this is a experiment. I'm also going to make a chicken, broccoli, cauliflower rice um, casserole dish four lunches and um, so hopefully this all turns out um, I've not made the chicken broccoli rice with cauliflower and broccoli rice before I but I have made it with the regular rice so I'm just modifying it um, and that's kind of what I'm doing with all my recipes now is I'm just learning how to use um, alternatives that I can have so I browned two pounds of turkey ground turkey and drained it. This is um, about half of that. Um, I don't want to make a large portion of the chili, but I have the tomatoes that I'm going to use so I can use the rest of the turkey if I need to so that I have enough meat in it. Um, so at this point I'm just going to put the turkey into the pan that I'm cooking in. Okay, and I have a can of chili ready tomatoes. So the nutritional value, it has eight grams of carbs, uh, seven net carbs for half of a cup. Now, right now, my entire serving size is a little bit less than half a cup. So you figure that's gonna be about three um, that's if I was eating all to my all of this, um, but this is going to be mixed in with some other veggies and uh, the meat. So um, I will go ahead and use this. And I am draining excess liquid off of everything um, that helps with sodium. I do have a large can here of crushed tomatoes and then a 14 and a half ounce can of Italian stewed tomatoes. Um, if I was making a bigger batch, I would probably go ahead and use these crushed tomatoes. Um, but I'm using what I have and I don't, like I said, I don't want that big of a batch so I'm going to go ahead and use this. Um, now this has six net carbs, six total sugars. Um, and three of those are naturally occurring, three are added sugars. So, and again, that's for half of a cup. And again, I'm draining off excess liquid.
and I'm going to cook this for a, quite a long time today. Um, really get this cooked down. So I use a lot of frozen vegetables so that I don't waste any. Um, so I'm going to add about half of a cup of peppers and onions. That. And frozen sliced mushrooms. So, I have a packet of mild chili seasoning mix. Um, since we can't drink with or for 30 minutes after our meals, I have discovered that things that used to not bother me spice-wise because I would just drink with it, um, now kind of bother me. So, because I'm making a small batch and the tomatoes were already seasoned, um, I am only going to use a tablespoon of what's in here. cup of water for now. We're going to see how this does. And if in a few hours it needs more, then I can always add more water. Plus I'm going to be putting in the uh, cauliflower sweet potato rice. So maybe. Um, this looks pretty good and veggie. Veggie full. going to let that slowly simmer um, most of the day. I've always enjoyed really slow cooked chili. Um, these recipes that are like, oh, it's done in two hours or half an hour, 45 minutes. I just, I grew up with slow simmered chili and that's what I've always preferred. So I can't get my mind out of that, but this is going to be tasty. All right. So for my next um, this pan is, I believe it's an 8x8, but it could be a 9x9, um, and it's an old pan. I have already sprayed this with cooking spray. This is going to be for my broccoli rice dish. Um, I may end up having to use the whole bag because of the dish is so large. Yes, I will. So I'd portioned out um, about five ounces of this. So this is rice to veggies. It's cauliflower and broccoli rice with cheese in it. 
Um, actually, I am not going to use the rest of it for this because uh, it adds a lot of unnecessary calories um, and whatnot. I'm just going to toss in a bunch of veggies. So this is going to become a new creation. So I have some frozen zucchini, green and yellow here. That's left over from something I made last week. And the thing about this is, is I'm using chicken tenderloins, so smaller chicken strips. So um, I will use one of those chicken strips per meal. And um, I will have leftover veggies. So, I will use those with the veggie base. I will use with um, some other things because I can only do about an ounce, ounce and a half of veggies. I may grill more chicken to put on it if this turns out well for what's left. And that was some peppers and onions. And then if you couldn't tell, I love peppers and onions and I love mushrooms. So, so a little bit left in there. Okay. And then I have some uh, light Alfredo and uh, there is the nutritional value. So for a quarter cup of this, you're getting three carbs and three grams of fat, one gram of protein, and 40 calories. So um, it's better than the alternatives. And right now that's what I'm aiming for. It is better than better than knots. Um, that spoon's not going to fit in there. There we go. So I will be right back. 